What is going on everyone? Nick here and welcome to the Thaumaturge Challenge. Now, if you are, I've already been on the channel. <laughs> You'll know that this is my third attempt at this challenge. Um, I decided to restart because uh, the the second attempt, I, I recorded it, wasn't super happy with how it went. Um, and then kind of did some playing around, uh, like off camera. Um, trying to like test some stuff and you know just just apply some certain things and um, definitely feel like I need to restart that one <laughs> also got a lot of really good tips from you guys um, so because I think this challenge so you know needs a good start it needs a good start um, and if you're if you're new the thometers challenge is basically we are just going to the goal is to get to the point by by university three i think that's the sweet spot by university three we start just pumping out thaumaturges which require you to have level one in every single magic um and the bonus you get from them graduating as thaumaturge is that your new students coming in start with some magic learned and so if you can get enough thaumaturges you could start producing like a somewhat endless cycle of every student you get can become a thaumaturge and that's what i want so ever i want to get to a point where every single student that comes in comes in with a baseline of being able to be a thaumaturge it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy at all but uh as as you can see is this is the third attempt uh i am still going to do it on archmage um i think i think it's more fun if we do it on the hardest difficulty Game length, I thought about making it slightly longer, um, but I feel like that's almost cheating. So let's do normal. We are gonna keep transmutation challenge just so we can knock that out because it's not that difficult of a challenge. Um, but yeah, let's let's jump into this. Um, something that was also brought up is the starting location is uh, very important. And it should be one that's pretty easy to farm you know, good results in. Let's be... Uh, we'll be the Golden Bears. Golden Bear University. <laughs> there we go. Sounds very california -y, so I'll take it. So I was like, okay, so the village, we have that minstrel issue. Um, and so he slows down the production of... Um, of like your first students because you don't have any of the passives to kind of counter his passive debuff uh, so i think that the village is a later one i actually think the village might be a good third year one because you can also farm him for money um so that i think can be saved for like a third or fourth one the lake the 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 needing all the dragons is annoying and i don't think one that's super easy to do um, the forest, however, I think the trolls easy to get around. I think we messed up on the forest the first time by building horizontally. I think you, you had to build kind of vertically. Otherwise the students don't travel that far. Um, but I think, I think the forest could easily work and the, the, the actual like managing the troll is easy. So I think, I think we do that. Um, yeah. And then as for the classes, so I've been doing is I've been kind of lazy. I've just been shoving everyone into their own, like, like one big generalist class. And I think that works on a normal playthrough after your first university. I think for the first university and for this challenge specifically, I'm going to do it through all of them is I'm going to be very particular about what students I put where. And, um, and what traits they have and how it matches and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely do that. We're also going to take this one a bit more slow. I'm not going to use as much speed three. But uh, let's start grabbing some stuff. So we get a nature room, but we got the private apartment too. I'm going to take the private apartment. Because it's such a good early thing. We'll take... We'll take Shadow. We'll take Arcane. Ooh, we'll take a Psychologist, I think. 
Yeah. And then we'll take... Ooh, this is a good... We'll take another new house so we can diversify a bit more if we need to. And we'll take... We'll take the psychologist. We'll 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 put it away from the first one. So what we could do is put this one like right here, because it doesn't have any. Um, we don't have any. What I'm trying to say. Um, we don't have any like exit points on this. So if we put one here, that limits us a little bit. But we could put one here and then put the other one out to this side over here. So we have a bit of psychologist coverage. Yeah, I think that that might be the best idea. We're going to start, though. We're going to start with the arcane room. Let's get this. And we get an excellent teacher at the bat, which is great. We'll put the shadow room next to it. A couple of good ones. Relaxed elder. See, I think he's better because he at least doesn't affect their learning. Uh, that, that's something I need to do too. Is I need to be more picky on the teachers. I'm basically, I'm basically gonna try hard this challenge because <laughs> uh, I think it's frustrating for both myself and the viewers if I don't take it try hardy and then like the the challenge fails because I was too laxed. So let's let's try to be a bit serious. Yeah, I think a psychologist going here. Take an appropriate one. The student hall is another one where they can't. There's not much wiggle room. Um, we could do it here. I it it blocks a little bit of stuff, but if you think about it, they're not going to be going across necessarily. Although, let's see. The private apartment. Put the private apartment here. I think that's fine. Put the student hall over. I th honestly think the student hall up here is fine. We're going to do that. And then the other psychologist will build out here. So we'll hold on to him for now. Or it. Whatever. <laughs> All right. First house. What do we got? So we got Jack of All Trades, which we're going to take immediately. I think that's one of the bigger ones, A, for the... That, it was pointed out in the last uh, run... Um, it's such a strong trait to have in the early universities, and I agree with that. It's also one that we're going to need quite a bit, um, just in general, because it helps get the, the thaumaturgy gets a boost too. But all right, we'll take this. I mean, the blue. Oh, how do you spell Pegasus, though? Pegasus? Is that how you spell Pegasus? Why does that not look correct? That's going to make me very upset. I'm going to look it up. It is. Okay. For some reason, it doesn't look correct to me. I don't know why. I don't know why at all. But, uh, yeah, they'll be, we'll be the Blue Pegasus. Take that one. And they're going to start as everything allowed. Um, what am I, I'm going to wait until we get some more stuff before we start, you know, limiting the, the classes and stuff like that. And make sure I get my free free money because we're going to take all these students there's no we just need the bodies so we'll put them on there and then from here is when we should be able to start being more picky start putting students in the right place and we could we could make use of the generalist class the actual like the the proper was it literally just called general class yeah we could make use of that uh, but we'll see how that goes what I also think I want to do is I think um, in the future, I forgot to do it in this one, but I want to place the how like the, the classrooms, let time go for a second, then do the students so that the students come in and go straight to class just to get them a little bit of extra, a little bit extra time to learn. We'll take it Olman. This is actually a good spot right here. Supposer's not ideal. Greedy, the the cat, the salary is not that bad. Demanding, 
Poser's bad, but we do have Comical, and he has... He slows his own growth rate of needs, and gives us King Rep. So I think we're going to go with him. I think that's something we can easily work with. Um, let's rock... Elemental's Dojo will get us money. So I'm actually going to go with this. Yeah. And let's take... We'll take the clumsy hypochondriac. That works. We'll grab some students. Again, we're going to take all five just because at this point we need to. Give me one thing. So we do not have a light classroom, so I'm going to take this. We'll put it up here. Ooh, we'll take... See, the round belly one, that's an easy one to, to manage, so I'll always take that. Um, yeah, I feel like that's one of the easier things to manage with the teachers. There we go. We got a nice big influx of students. Should have some of them go start learning Shadow, I would hope. Although they're all just learning Arcane, which is honestly fine. Like, that that's fine. They're, they're decent passives to have. Uh, we're going to take Magical Trinkets. Yeah, th God, th getting this is so good. So I think when, when I go for Thaumaturge, I'm going to take the students and individually change them each from year to year. I, I, I'm going to start it in, um, what is it, Arcane, then Alchemy, just so that they can get this. I think this is so important for that challenge. Um, actually, I want to talk to this dude first. Okay, so we've unlocked the troll. We don't need to mess with him yet. Um, I think going to here and starting to boost them up is a good plan. Let's see, now the students actually, there we go. We're going to go learn some, going to go learn some stuff. At least everybody's kind of doing something. Now the, the orc tribes, I, they're just not, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. At least for now, they're just not important enough to invest a bunch of time in. Like, I think you do the peasants for the guinea pig speed. And then, of course, you do the king so that you can reduce and, and get money and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like in part, in, like the orcs in general just aren't that useful. Maybe on, like, really long playthroughs. Um... Oh, it's that bad? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take all the students again. Now, what I'm hoping is we eventually get the... I guess I could do it now. Could we have Arcane, Nature... We have Light and Dark, or Shadow, or whatever. We could start to split up the students so that it's, there's not teachers teaching nothing. That's not a terrible plan. I'm trying to think what has good combos. Um, light and dark I know ends up with Plague Druid, which could be really good. And then we could do Arcane and Light. That's fine. So let's get, let's get another house out here. Jack of all trades, easy. Ooh, going courageous could be good for the combat, but chosen a light and then just make this the light and arcane class. And then you let the shadow nature one be the other one. Yeah, the easy. This is going to be the... <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll change the color of the lion, though. This is going to be... The my cat is like wiling out today. I don't know if you guys can hear him. It's going to be the ivory lions. It's gonna do alabaster, but no, I like ivory lions. This just sounds cool. We'll make him that one. And then we go in here, and now we're actually gonna look at each of the students. So he has gourmet and bully, which is annoying. So we want him to stay a bully. We want to stay in the comical. Or I guess that it's boredom, not sanity. I mean, we're just gonna have to accept that you're there, basically. Worker, deaf, demoralized. Um, because they have deaf, I think they should go in here, because the chosen light can kind of counteract 
that a bit whenever they're in the light classroom. Child of Nature, so this one's gonna be Shadow Nature. And I just put them on priority so that it's easy for me to read. I know you don't have to if you if you forbid the other ones, but yeah. Let's see, we got Popular, Heavy Sleeper, Aggressive. We'll put you in here. Oops, not you. So I'll split it up kind of even if we can. Learns Light Magic 50% slower, so you're staying. Deaf Diligent, same idea as last time. We'll put you in there. Now, a lot of these students learns Arcane slower, so you're staying here. Procrastinator is dumb. Also beautiful, though. <laughs> we'll, we'll switch you in here because I think this one you're going to get more out of the school in general. Chosen by Light, we want to double that up. So we'll put you in there. Uh, let's see, your light sleeper crazy. You're down to earth, though. I think we already did you. Antisocial passionate. Let's put you in here. Oh, you already have shadow, though, so we'll, we'll keep that. Aggressive gourmet. There you go. Put you in there. Light sleeper courageous bully down to earth. That's fine. Pretentious heavy sleeper. Increases boredom of the character, so we need her in the comical one. The orphan is such a a poor trait to have. It's it's such a na it, like it's on the positives, but it's not all that positive because you shouldn't be getting your students killed anyway. This student's already pretty deep into shadow and even has one in the dolmen, so we'll keep you there. Procrastinator death. We're gonna put you in here. Let you keep going on alchemy. And then diligent. You have quite a bit of alchemy already as well. Oh, not Alchemy, uh, Arcane. So we'll go like that. That's how we're going to do our split for now. And then now we shouldn't run into the issue where students are not in classrooms. Like, students should absolutely be able to be in classrooms and it, it work decently. Let's see, guinea pigs, send them here. What is the... Yeah. Yeah, the 20% is just so invaluable. At least I feel like it is. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we want? I'm still waiting on the, the quests. We haven't gotten any of our quests yet. I honestly kind of like... Hmm. The ball... But, the, God, the interdimensional room is so good. You know, let's take the interdimensional room. We're going to put it right here, and we're going to put the psychologist right above it. So that, that way... So that way, because this drains your sanity, so they can just drain their sanity and go straight up to the psychologist. Uh, let's definitely take a demonic chamber because demonology is so good. Let's take that. We'll put it. Hmm. We'll put it over here, or should we put it? We should start building up. We'll put it here because oh, two bad teachers. Oof. Um, and the reason, so, okay, we're definitely not doing the orcs. Let's see, coward, demoralized, orphan. Um, we'll put you in here. Slow, old-fashioned, gourmet, put you in here. Shifty, steadfast. Hmm. See, you're dumb, but, like, that's fine. Lawful evil will put you with the shadow stuff because you I think you get benefits from being evil um, Yeah, I Think that's how that let me you know, I'm gonna double check It's like this student evil needs grow slower. Oh uh, Learns faster in classes given by a bad teacher. Oh, okay So not really so it's, it's a it's a thing. We can't really build around. Okay, so here is our Ooh, a bunch of altar child. That's interesting. See, these two are going to be incredibly difficult. The altar child's not that difficult. It does limit... It does limit a bunch of students. Um, But... It's also the easiest one. 
Let's see. I think we go Ultra Child because we're, we're in it for the star. We want the star. The star is very important. And so once we get enough light magic, um, I actually do want the pyre. We can put it in here. There we go. All right, we got Child of Nature going in there. Shifty Hypochondriac. Put you in there. Aggressive Ugly Light Sleeper. There we go. Everything nice and tidy. We get a green bed, which is actually probably pretty good because we need that. We need students to get benefits any way they can, because we can't just have a bunch of students graduating as peasants and stuff like that. Like we need them to get good early traits. Now, luckily, we haven't had too much issue with the troll yet. I'm assuming that's going to change pretty soon. Let's go Light Specialist, just because we're it's tied to our other one. We should be able to get both with no problem. Um, Let's see. Um, The Reliquary is good. The Bright Staff Factory might also be worthwhile. Hmm. I'm going to take the Reliquary, because once we get... A, uh, a spot for them to learn sacred magic. We could just put that in there and make it very easy for them to get it. Take a Janner's Lodge. That's always needed. Put it up here. I know I just took a slow Janner, but it's fine. <laughs> so we'll to Pollen, so we'll put him here. Let's see, we could do... We don't really need a new house yet. Because we have the, the two things we need. I mean, eventually we'd like to get some alchemy mana so we can maybe spread them out a little bit more, but for right now, this is fine. We, the big thing we need is we need the, um, was it the Righteous Cloister does sacred magic? Um, you know, sure, take the 15 or take the 100 gold, that's fine. A claustrophobia, that's an automatic put in here. I think this is going much better now that stuff is kind of you know there like we already got students who had two elementalism so i mean it's, it's definitely going decently well Ooh, i like the fairy dragon the mystical birds could also be quite good but the fairy dragon's just like too good to pass up put the fairy dragon in the entryway Ooh, get you know just give me this one because we'll get Infernal Spellbook. Although, waiting and going for Summoning Forbidden could be good. Could be quite good. Alright, so we do that. That put us... No, we need one more. Okay. That's fine. That is a-okay. And these students are killing it. Getting a bunch of Druidism. Are you really... Are you really, you're really just like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here with your minus 40. So we got old, ugly old fashioned. We'll put you in here just to even it out. Might as well keep it even. Might as well keep it even. And then, yeah, I, th I think this is going, this is already substantially better. Um, You know, we got students all learning a bunch of stuff. Would you not tag the interdimensional room, please? You're asking for Cthulhu to come grab you. Um, this is a weird one. We're just gonna take this and kind of re-roll, essentially. Ooh, ooh. The question is, how much do we want alchemy? I get it'd probably be good to get. But then do we have enough students to justify splitting them up into three houses? What we could do is we could put all the three-year students in an alchemy-based one so that they just go in and hardline alchemy. That's actually not a terrible idea. Let's do it. We got our first. He's going to wake. That's okay. We get a rune scriptorium. Although, ooh. We get another roll. Of, or we get another draw from the deck. I'm going to take the Sacred Elixir because of what we're looking for. 
And we'll take the potion workshop. That works. Um, we want clumsy and slow. Take this. Heroes Chapel's heroism. This is not super ideal. Um, I, we'll take the Chamber of Truth because we already have one. We'll upgrade a little bit. Take this. Ugh, I was hoping for... Was hoping big time for the, um, what do you call it? The Righteous Cloister. But, uh, we'll put that in there for now. Uh, what do you got? Look, give me the gift. Please be, uh, I was hoping that'd be light mana. Now, let's absolutely do the interdimensional rooms. We can get, we can start pumping out some, uh, some, what are, what are they called? Oh, it's like Demo Lord of Demonic Plains or something like that. Let's take this, so this is going to be, we got Jack of All Trades all three times, that's crazy. Um, this is going to be our three year, we'll make it the, uh, yeah sure, the purple birds. <laughs> we'll make this our alchemy class, and these. this is going to be three year students that we can just put in. Although, hmm. We could just make alchemy like this and be fine. Because then they'd get some alchemy in. Let's do that. Let's do that so we don't have to split them up too much. Ooh, what do we want from here? Um, yeah, we want this. We want Abyssal Portal. <laughs> Why am I even questioning it? If, if we only had the, the base interdimensional portal, I probably would have taken the Sylvan potion there. But... Urge to Pollen? Go on in there. See, we got you. We should probably do some stuff with the troll. Oh, we don't have the... I forgot you had to have 200 nature mana. Oof. Oofy oof oof. 400 gold is actually not terrible, but it, the minus 20 could be the death of us. So let's not do that. <laughs> We're just going to count that as a wasted guinea pig. Count that as a wasted guinea pig and call it a day. Yeah, all these students... I mean, they're doing pretty good. Like, I think... I'll find a critter, sure. Give me the witch's cat, just because cats are cute. There we go. Plus the witch's cat by the druid stones. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Let's see. Well behaved. I'll put you in here. There we go. Now we need we need the light mana to get to get moving. Our big chungus teacher over here needs to get his stuff together. Let's see. We I think we want the pig chamber. Put it right here. We need to get, we need to make stuff that's going a bit quicker. For sure. Just nobody's in the potion room. Poor potion lady. Although she did manage to get us enough to get a thing. Let's take a, let's take an infirmary though. We'll put it here. Yeah, we'll make a centralized infirmary. That works. Your light sleeper worker demoralized antisocial. You're brilliant as well. Let's put you in here. I do need to start going for... Yeah, we have to take this one. I think it's... We get the Hero's Chapel again. God damn it. Um, hmm. I'm going to take a Bright Staff Refectory. Put it in the center. And I... we Because I can't, I can't justify putting the Heroism uh, room. Because that's going to put our students there instead of... How much nature mana do we have? We don't have enough nature mana to do the trolls. Let's go here. Um, I'm not going to spend nature mana on this because we don't need to. Let's do the plus five. And that gives us the 20% uh, increase to the guinea pigs. I hate that quest, by the way. We'll take the merchant one. That one's almost always a guaranteed star. Okay, so we get a gardener, which is fine. A protective spirit, which is actually really good. Um, adventure is good. In this one, we're, we're not going for passives right away. We just want stuff that's going to really... Like, the school coat of arms is huge. 
that's gonna be really good passive our, our logo is so ugly um it's gonna give us a good passive um prestige and it's it's gonna be very nice it's gonna help us out a lot now from here I mean, orc hound's fine. I'm actually gonna go philosopher's stone. And you know what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna go here and we're gonna start charging for dormitories. Just to get the more increased money. Cause if I can get at least get a light classroom, that could easily produce us some altar children. We get another dormitory, which is actually fine. Like that's actually a good pull. Um, we're gonna put it here though Because there I, I kind of killed this verticality actually I guess I could go here 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 and Then up but whatever we'll, we'll put them up here. It should be fine Do we have 200 nature mana? We don't we really need it'd be great if you could you know take care of the whirlwind of chaos in your room Let's See chatty that's uh, fine. We'll put you in here arcane scholar allergic to pollen courageous Hypochondriac, put you in here. Let's see, what do you got for me? Okay, we're taking a prestige hit. That's fine. <laughs> I guess. Uh, we'll take the king. Oh, although we should maybe look into the Inquisition. I'm actually going to go here, yeah. Let's see. Oh, so we can just draw a Lightroom card eventually. Okay. We'll, we'll increase with the Inquisition a bit just to help us out with that quest. But uh, we do have to worry about the troll, too. What is he at? He's at minus 30 right now. Okay, so we have a little bit of wiggle room. Um, definitely need to get him happy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for uh, for part one. Um, yeah, I think this is a much cleaner setup. We didn't rush it. We're not already halfway. We're only a quarter of the way through the university. I think we're set up pretty decently. All our students are learning at least enough of something to have a good graduation and that's the important part it's it's not our first graduation wasn't a bunch of peasants and village mages like it was last time um and so i think that that helps out a ton um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again i apologize for restarting now this is the third start to the thaumaturgy challenge just this is the challenge we've been talking about on the channel for a long time and i want to give it a actual like serious chance so yeah this should be this will be last restart though I, even if we mess up i'm gonna try it and then we'll learn from the overall mistake or from the overall experience any mistakes we could change or we might just be able to save it like i thought about it like the last run we could have probably pulled that around and saved it but i just i wanted it not to be three or four episodes of the viewers being frustrated at my poor play um, so that's why I went ahead and restarted, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. See ya.